Today, we're hearing from one of the officers grazed with a bullet, Deputy John Foster. Montgomery County officials gathered to recognize him today. Madeline Wright reports. The Montgomery County Sheriff says Bomb Squad Deputy John Foster is always greeting visitors at the courthouse with a smile and kind word. Commissioners here at the county government building told him it's never been better to see him. Here is a uh, proclamation. Commissioners honored Deputy Foster with a proclamation for his bravery and commitment to public service just days after he and Philadelphia police officer Sergio Diggs survived a shooting. It was a chaotic scene after a little bit, um, but unfortunately, myself and Officer Diggs just received minor graze wounds. Deputy Foster was grazed in the shoulder. Diggs hit in the forehead at the base of the art museum steps while they were working a security detail Monday night during Philly's 4th of July fireworks festivities. Police believe the bullets were fired from a distance. Uh, we weren't targeted. We were just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Or the right place at the right time. I don't know. Either one, we, we were fortunate enough to walk away with just a few scratches. Commissioners also honored Philadelphia police officer William Tobill, who rushed Deputy Foster to the hospital in his squad car that night. I'm going to uh, present the point to you. Deputy Foster is taking a few days off work to recover from his injury. He says he's grateful for the outpouring of support from the community. I just want to say thank you very much to the officers of Philadelphia Police Department. They were um, phenomenal. The sheriff says after Deputy Foster was shot, he was most concerned about his son. He didn't want his son to worry and leave Boy Scout camp. He went the extra mile driving up to the Poconos to assure his son that dad was going to be all right. In Norristown, Madeline Wright, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.